peace be to you. Today we celebrate the solemnity of St. Joseph. I wish everyone happy feast and God's blessings. St. Joseph was a just man. When he came to know that Blessed Mother was conceived before the marriage, he wanted to do something. He was astonished and could not understand the reason behind her conception. Though St. Joseph knows very well that Blessed Mother was an innocent girl, also he was a just man who was following meticulously the God's law. He was in a dilemma whether to punish Blessed Mother according to the law or to leave her. So he wanted to choose the lesser punishment of red heifer. We read in Numbers 5, 11 to 31. It's also a punishment, but it was a secret punishment that the rabbi will do asking the particular girl to consume some kind of poison like. So this was thinking going on in the mind of St. Joseph. He was not sure what to do. So these two options he has to make, whether to hand in hand her over to the people for stoning or to drink the red hypha. Now he got instruction from our Lord, from the Father through the angel that the reason behind our conception was the plan of God. This was a greatest conversion made in the mind of St. Joseph and accepted the will of God as his own. He completely cooperated, he had no doubt and he accepted the plan of God. That's why he is called just man. Accepting the will of God according to him, according to the will of the Father, is called a just person. Following meticulously the instruction of God is a just person. St. Joseph, as a patron and guardian of Blessed Mother and our Lord, he was taking care of the family. He did everything that was instructed as the faithful patriarch. He meticulously carried out all the duties instructed by Lord. So, he was a just man, obedient man, also a faithful husband. He allowed it according to the will of God, the perpetual virginity of our Blessed Mother. These are all the best qualities of our Saint, Saint Joseph. So let us in a special way imitate all those characteristics of the Blessed Saint and summit all our children, family and young children especially, the girls, to the powerful protection of our Saint, Saint Joseph. Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you for all the gifts you have showered upon us. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day. 
Thank you, Lord, for blessing us today with the powerful intercession of St. Joseph. You are with us, Lord. St. Joseph was taking care of the family that you have instituted. And in the same way, he takes care of all the families of the world. Allow us to submit ourselves to his paternal care. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.